not entirely sure if I'll ever get into it, to be honest. You get that one later. Reckless. My moderator. You can be my moderator. Delete that other one. What are they doing in these arms? Alright, you hit it out, I'm gonna stay in. Oh, have you already left? <sighs> Didn't realize I had 6k on me.
Man, there's so many grays down here. What in the world? Ah, thief. You can have that fortune cord down it. Friday. Cab is surprisingly quiet. For it to be society night. Graze down here, though. It's weird, right? Man, I don't see any stealthers. Survived a beetle and a care, right? Got level three long shot. Not bad, right? Second hinder out of it. <laughs> I 
What was the name of that archer? Wu Wonka? What him, was it? Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Worms are already full health again. It's amazing. <laughs> oh yeah. How many streamers on Outlands? There's like six or seven now. It's awesome. Happy Friday. Society's just reset, so join this 250k in Cav. Oh, I accepted him on the wrong character. Oops. One of these days I'm going to sell all those gems and be rich. No, I didn't turn one on. Real time, baby. <laughs> Man, I guess I'm so slow. All right, what did you pick? So, Necromancers might be easy. 
Let's see, 25k in Palma. Ogres might be pretty easy too. 25k in Wilderness, three bosses. Uh, are there ogres there, or is that all Ettons and Trolls? I think it's Ettons and Trolls. 100k from Bestial Slayer. I don't know, I can never find Paragons. Uh, Monster Slayer, 250k Cavernum. I don't know, I think I'd rather do Cavernum than Nucero. Did he take both? Oh, there's no way we're getting 500k in both, right? No. You go around the left side? What? Through the middle? <laughs> Look at you. Ah, oh, take it out. That's pretty awesome. Cavernum died the other day. Uh, I'm gonna give it to you. <laughs> I don't know. I wonder why I get so much Cavernum die. <laughs> yeah. oh, I like that Poma die. It just looked really cool. I, like, I've got to find a table or something to display it up in the house. It just looked really cool. These worms are top notch. Yeah, they could think I was crazy. Oh, best conversations I have with myself. That's why you should uh, like call me on Hangouts or something. I'll put your little webcam down in the corner. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool, right? Maybe I'll video call you I'll like uh loop you in as a guest. Stream guest. No? That sounds fun. Should be my special guest. Not everybody can be my special guest. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Speakers, they can, uh, they can hear you. Can you hear me? No. I can't hear you anymore. Go again? Wait, you can't hear me? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, I'm coming along the left side on one. I just run straight. That's what I do. I don't 
don't know. Every now and then you get something good off the first floor, but I don't know. I'd really get to the tougher stuff. You do the level two loop, run down to three. Oh, that seems better to me. I mean, I got that carpet in the map off just that little stuff earlier. Uh huh. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. No, I usually get most of my stuff like running out of the dungeon, killing everything on the way to the gate, you know? Finisher. So cool. I'm at uh, entrance level three. Talking smack about him again. <laughs> they always do, though. That's the thing. The guild pastime. Yeah. Yep. See where they had a hind versus hind event the other day, like hind fight. <laughs> Have you ever heard those? It's awful. <laughs> that would have been so funny. I looted one, but I didn't do that one. Okay. Sure, I got that one. <laughs> so, how are they healing? Stay full health for the most part. I don't know, the more you can get stuff to bleed, the more times they consume it to heal themselves. Oh, gotcha. Which is great. I mean, like that. I mean, they'll stay full health. Amazing. looks pretty cool. Oh, 
Eldritch. Got a beetle up too. On your way back to the gate. Gotta get 250k somehow. You know what I mean? Yeah, I did the whole run earlier and forgot to get the society for it. <laughs> that figures. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get this final beetle. So that's your archer? Mm -hmm. That's your archer? This one, archer tamer. Yeah, 120 taming, 120 lore, 120 arms lore, 100 archery, 90 tactics, 90 vet, 80 heal? So that's the dude you have echoes on, right? Yeah. I think that's it. I just gotta scroll. What'd you get? <laughs> you better get out of here with him. Quit okay, killing Lumers. <laughs> That's not bad, Eldritch Core in a scroll. I know. It's alright. Was a uh, tracking skill scroll. <sighs> I think somebody in the guild needs one. I need or it a lot. I finally got all of them. Was it Kazzy or a Blaster? Blaster? Just maybe. You want me to shoot him a message? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, uh, I think it was Cosm. Was looking for seven. No, he's looking for camping scrolls. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna come through the middle <laughs> and get back to you. Again? Again. It is quicker. But I don't know, you can kill that demon too, you get a lot of money. Ah, somebody's up there. You're still on three? So we left some golden hide, 90 pieces. I'm gonna get you some leather so you can make some sets for me. 
I mean, at the rate I'm getting leather, I should probably just start a tailor, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no. My tailor will make it. <laughs> Did you notice the name of those worms were ooh and ah? <laughs> I was wondering if you were going to You gave me those other worm, didn't you? I did give you that worm. Yeah. I think that John Wonka is messing with people. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, I'm back on three. Alright, I'm over, uh, going over the dragons. Okay. Okay. Going up to kill the limera. Okay. Yeah, then I'll go over the dragons. Okay. get the carrot? Yeah. Yeah. I think we have a stealther. Hmm? <laughs> we have a stealther. <laughs> Got an arcane up though. He can snoop me all he wants. I don't have anything on me. Hmm? I said he can snoop me all he wants. I don't have anything on me. <laughs> Maybe he just wants to smell me. <laughs> My dragon slaying odor. Maybe. <laughs> There's some weird fetishes, man. You never know. That's true. He might, that might be his thing. <laughs> Still stealth there. Please a thing for stop everybody, sniffing isn't me. Did they move that barb prowler? Mm, you know, I don't know. I don't see any dead bodies or anything. Yeah, I was gonna say, I've not seen it there forever. I don't know. Hey, did you check your aggro setting on those worms? Yeah, one of them was at the attack. I changed it. Okay, cool. So close. Are you scanning? No. I thought you were going to do friends on that guy. Echo. Oh, on your echo. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love them. Such easy money. I mean, they're only 200 gold, but they're so easy to kill. No, but the bleeds used to suck so bad. What does? The bleeds used to suck the, so bad. On the weed? I don't know, maybe. I, I, bleeds. Just, I remember this entire dungeon used to terrify me. <laughs> Bleeds on these things don't seem near as bad as, like, say, the Rhymestone or, um, you know, the Dracolisk. Yeah. 
or anything in ages. I picked up the soldier. I'm gonna pray last the dragless. I might have hit it. That's fine. That Lucy chick is our neighbor. Really? Yeah. They don't know for Nolan. Which direction? Uh, north, like up towards the dungeon. Oh, that's cool. Sorts of people live on that island. I know, right? Get surprisingly quiet tonight to be first night of society. That's how I like Everybody's it. Everybody's taking advantage of that long weekend. You get that one? Yeah. Night for Atlands. Yeah. I love these rhino beetles. I think they're one of my favorites down here. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you compare them to like the Rhyme Spirit champion? Yeah. They drop the same gold, but these are so much easier. Yeah, I hate that guy. Get that psilocybin. Yeah. Can't see it for all these bodies. <laughs> Got him. I love that finisher. Huh? Seven K. Mm, no, I'm good for a little while. Okay. Do you want to run it out? Yeah, I can run it out. You want to do the dragons? Mm hmm. glad that that guy that was sniffing me is gone. <laughs> it's making me uncomfortable. Yeah, bad. 
I'll let you loot that. Yeah, I grabbed that. Okay. Stanson and Don Diego. Those two are on the up and up. <laughs> Rapscallions. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm going to take it out after this, okay? Mm hmm. Man, it always scares me when they do the world save. <laughs> you got that one? Yeah. You want me to go ahead and duck? Or do you yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'll be back. Hey, that Prowler is back. Hmm. So I guess they didn't move it. Yeah, it was no. just gone. Hmm. Do you need me to bring anything back? Nope. Um, let's see. No, I'm good. Do the prowler? We're at 56k. Nice. Yeah, not too bad. All right. Not too bad at all. Do you know in that new uh uh Erften Erften orc event is? Um no but I can look it up. It's gotta be like in the uh, next week. You have to contribute this weekend, I think. Ah, uh, got it. Yeah. You gotta put those heads in there. I kinda wanna see the rat man. Somebody yeah, donate a bunch of fun. cheese. <laughs> That'd be fun. Okay, so I'll meet you back on three. Mm hmm. Killing the last worm now. I wish there wasn't such a long delay on the magic reflect, like being able to recast it. Hmm. Do you know how long the delay is? I don't know, I think like a minute. Hmm. It's not long. No. I'm just wanted. <laughs> Get inscription. You got a chance to stay up after you reflect. Mm hmm. I mean, it's not worth 120 inscription, but it's pretty nice. Yeah. You know, if you're going to have some extra perks. Yeah, I've been thinking about dropping dragon and uh, doing something else, but I'm just not sure. On your tamer? Yeah. Hmm. You still using herding? Yeah. I mean, on the echo that I dropped. Uh, yeah. The barding. I should try this archer tamer. Well, I mean, I have the other archer tamer. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, so I'm not gonna double yeah. up. Yeah. That makes sense, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what's better than one archer tamer? Two archer tamers? Yeah, I'm up near the boss room. 
brought you some presents. Oh yeah? I like presents. Finisher on it didn't even touch itself. Hey, did you loot those? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got them. Is there a lurker up there? There's a lurker? Mm -hmm. A lurker? <laughs> yeah, no creepers. I say lurker. Scum. I like that fella. Yeah. <laughs> I bet money's killed everything up here. <laughs> he probably has. He's a beast. Yeah. <laughs> I got the. I'm done here, Torture Prowler. Where the lurker was. Okay. I wonder what that other guy was running that he could only get three codex skills. If I have, let's see, if I have figured this right. Hey, yeah. I have to dip out and call my brother. All right. Do you want me to take anything out for you? Yeah. Yeah, I've got enough to get four. I'll give you the gold. Okay. Alright. break that stuff up soon. I've only got 83 juice. the best one yet. Uh, 
That's hilarious. That's cool. But it looking so fly.
good, but there you go. <laughs> oh, right in town, jeez. All right. So close. Thank you so much. Can I uh, take one of these and you put the rest in the fridge for me? Alright. Thank you so much.
There's so much crap in this hallway. Hmm? There are like 20 mobs. True. I'm an Aegis. <laughs> you hate Aegis, don't you? I don't like Aegis. I can't help it. <laughs> Everything down here just wants to love you. No, it wants to eat me. It doesn't want to love me. <laughs> There's a big difference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you need me to bring you anything? Mm -mm. <laughs> hey, there's a boat right outside of uh, the entrance to Aegis. Like, oh, I'm boat. punching it, no wonder. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Well, I killed everything on level 2 for you. Right in the hallway. Well, thank you. Right here? Yeah, wait right there. Alright. How do you... Oh. <laughs> I thought you were down below me. <laughs> no. how you got down there. Magic. 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 <laughs> Those. Are you a quick looter? I am a quick looter. Hey, did you want to try to tame another worm? Uh, maybe. We can do that tomorrow. Let's do worm selection. Right, don't forget that doppelganger turned into your blood worm. Ooh, did you see that? I think it's Eldritch. That means I'm leaving. <laughs> Peace. These guys are so good. We got like a uh, blueberry infused cranberry. They got like blueberry juice on them. Really good. Mm hmm. Man, everything's dead. Go check on the demon. Oh, okay. Demon up. Get your coins. I did. <laughs> Let's go 
such an amazing chart. They've done such a good job. Yeah, they really have. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Did, Did you, you see that, right? What? That gold scroll. Tailoring. Tailoring? Some, yeah, that's gonna be for my tailor. You're not gonna make a tailor. <laughs> I will be personally offended. Will you be offended? Yeah. And I won't cook your dinner. <laughs> well, I guess I can make a tailor then. <laughs> Starve. <laughs> Gotta hit him where it hurts. Oh yeah, right in my food. That's right. Hmm. Um, do you wanna give me that scroll and I'll go ahead and dip out with these? Sure, I'll give you the gold too. I think it, I have PTSD from this dungeon. <laughs> from getting killed by Blacklisted too many times. Seriously, like every time I used to come down here, he would get me. Every time. Um, I just got attacked by reds. I'm dead. There's like three of them. Black Tuna. Oscar the Grouch. Yeah. Horse Mackerel. Yeah, they're on level one. Yeah, I dip out. There's several. going with they have a uh, small anatomy since it takes three to kill one girl yeah so yeah did you get out
wonder what that was all about. I wonder what that was all about. Hmm. I need to, uh, go ahead and, and they're break pretty this much dry loaded me. What else do you lose? I uh, just got armor and stuff. You're just wearing leather, right? Huh? You're just wearing leather, right? Uh, Juwoka just came in and healed me. The guy that was stealthing behind me. <laughs> Juwoka? Yeah, he just came in. Red? And he healed me. No, he's not red. The guy that was stealthing behind us, that was Archer. Killed you in ages? No, he didn't kill me. He healed me. Oh, healed you. Sorry, okay, my accent okay. is really thick. Alright, I got you 300 arcane essence in the box. Not bad. Such a good job, Dagger, eating all this. That's real cool. Thanks. Cinnamon bones. Where'd you get the cinnamon bones from? Um, I got them at the last event, like off the Prev Merchant. <laughs> so funny. Let's see how these worms do. Cavern and everything got such high armor. Try and kill all these tentacles, or you want to teleport through? Huh? You never know. I get lucky. Anything good? Made like 30 gold, that was worth it. Don't forget, I know where you sleep. Stuff. Do you need a new poultice? Yeah, uh, yeah, if you don't mind. Okay. I would love some of that sweet poultice. I tell you, I was able to solo those uh, fin demons on my Dexter last night. Did you have barding? No. Finally hit the big time. Took half an hour, but I killed it. <laughs> I 
think I got all of them. Yeah, I'm digging these worms. I think they've become my favorite pets. Do you like them better than the sparrow bug? Yes. Breeding, breeding burrow bug's a bit different. Like, it's hard to explain. And I don't know if I've paired it up with the right thing yet. Because I was running it with the roach, the radiant burrow bug, and a worm. It seemed to do decent damage. <coughs> Good grief. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoa. Alright. But, I don't know. It just seemed to take too much damage. I love those resurfants. I love the color. Yeah, sheep mills don't uh, work well with much after 100. I know. Is there any kind of specials down here? Something. Reduced as no reduced aspect usage, I think. Yeah. Maybe. I gotta go back to Cav. I got I took that two fifty K. So <laughs> I gotta get to work. <laughs> Did you not take it? Oh yeah. No. Almost took it. Just like try different things, you know? Yeah. This is an easy one. Collateral damage. Ben Kenobi. Demons down. No demons. This place is packed tonight. Yeah. Didn't have anybody in here last night. I'm going up towards the gate. Okay. Cavern of Mink gonna farm itself. Are you gonna go? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Going to Cav. Okay. Yeah, I just, when I come down here, I can't ever find anything to kill. Ooh, I got a respawn behind me. I got a guardian. Yep. And then calf. Oh, I just realized I didn't activate my aspect after they killed me. <laughs> <laughs> that makes all the difference. I'm a dork. Yeah, that'll go a long way. What are you up to now? Ten? Um, well, I'm on 10. I'm almost at 11. I need like 4k experience. Nice. That should go pretty quick. How much you got to gain at level 10? Um, 15k. Jeez. Yeah. I'm struggling to get this last thousand for mine. What level are you on? Uh, six. Yeah, six. Yeah, I'm headed that way. I'm in the middle, though. <laughs> okay, I'm on the left side. The middle is the best. Uh, I disagree.
You loot it. Cool. I might hit level seven to nine. That'd be nice. If it level seven, well, if I hit level ten plus on this water, maybe worthwhile picking it up on the Dexter. How long in between your echoes now? Hmm. How long do you have to wait in between your echoes? Twelve hours. Sucks. So bad. But if I can get those customizations, I can get it down to an hour. Oh, that makes. I see an hour would be perfect. Yeah. But it's five million. So, I don't know, maybe we cut a little bit out of tax return. Get your husband no. some echo customization? No? no. <laughs> Are you just going to have to farm cab with me every night? <laughs> yep. <laughs> then, next year. I was close to buying one of them, but I didn't think six hours would be any different than twelve hours. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you know what I mean? It's like, if I only play for six hours, then cutting it down by six hours isn't that big of a deal, because it'll be eighteen hours before I get back on, right? But an hour... Especially since I want to redo that Archer Echo and pick up Peacemaking? Yeah. Do that piecer build I'm working on? Only because I can unlock all five ranks of Mason Codex. <laughs> Do that for my decks are a little easier. I bet we've got like. 200k worth of stuff already from that. You think so? Well, I mean, with the special stuff we found. Oh, that's awesome. I forgot to. Oh, ingots. I'm saving up for ingots. Yeah. Yeah, so we got 200k worth of ingots tonight? Uh, no. No, we didn't. <laughs> yeah. Remember, I could make all that plate mail for your mage tamer. Who else was going to make your plate mail for Mage Tamer? I thought Mage just didn't wear a plate mail. They can. If uh, your husband makes it. You look good. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> All these Archer Tamers now. So crazy. It's funny how the meta changes over time. Yeah. Do you see his outfit? Who? Costas. Let's take a look. He looks like he's your brother. He's got Shimmer Periwinkle. I have Shimmer Periwinkle. Why is this his so much brighter than mine? Different type of robe, maybe? Maybe. It's an interesting looking robe. I like that Battle Mage's tunic. Yeah, I think that's really That's neat. really cool. What are you up to now? Up to 18k. Fire than I thought I'd be up to. I'm sorry, I missed the question. I'm up to 18k. On, on the what? society. Oh, okay. Fire than I thought I'd be. Yeah. I mean, because you stayed in every time I took the money out earlier. That's true. It's really nice to have a, your wife play you all with you. <laughs> you she can lucky. run your loot out. You're a lucky fella. So you can play longer. Sometimes. It's pretty, it's pretty sweet. <laughs> it's 
pretty funny. Level three or kill that round stone. I mean, 250k, that's quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I got a command flectry. You wanna run it up? You can use it, right? Kinky Prowler. <laughs> Interesting. I did like 30 damage with that. These things have so much armor. So do you think I should do inscription for tracking? On your mage too? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I have inscription. You say you do or don't? Don't. No? No, I'd pick up something useful. Like, are you wanting to keep Majory? I'm just talking about on this Echo. And you want to drop tracking? I don't know. What I've are your other done skills? done the same thing for like a year. Why don't you pick up Resist and Wrestling? Yeah, I could do that. Have you seen that PvP Tamer build? Yeah, I need to do something more PvP oriented. Seem to like PvP a lot, you should go for it. I thought that Black Tuna guy was a fisher. Who? Black Tuna. Wasn't he a fisher? Black Tuna? You think Yeah. Of Black Tuna or Black Peter? No, Black Tuna. That's one of the reds that was in there. I don't know. <laughs> Black hey, Tuna. Hey, that Siri person, that's, um, I think that's one of our neighbors, too. Rhinos? Do you want to message him and see if he wants you to get his stuff? Nothing's on him. There's a bag, though, right there. Anything in it? Um, it's just potions. Reds must roll through. Yeah, I think so. Do you want to do the psilocyte or no? Yeah. Crap. Yeah, those psilocytes drop like 400 gold apiece. Those bleeds are brutal. It's pretty easy. Yeah, no kidding.
Do you know how long it takes a body to turn into bones? Couple minutes. Oh, well then those are fresh. <laughs> I'm good. You get it? Yeah. You gotta walk an avalanche. Gun bucket came down through here. I know mean, everything's dead. <laughs> and it is. Ooh. You loot that? You get the nightshade? So that's a cool robe. The one Rhino's head on? That's some nice music. Okay. I'll be back. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Do you want to take this gold with you? No, I can't hold it. Whoa, didn't even see that there. That was pretty awesome to get that last night. Got this cab lantern last night. After years. Have you ever gotten a lantern? No, I've no. never got one. No, that's the first one I've ever gotten. I got hair dye and I was ecstatic. Hmm.
coolest gun you are right there. Who? Abarash. I don't think I'm familiar with him. You watched this stream the other day, remember? Guy from uh, Cornwall. Oh, from the different country? Yeah. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah, cool guy. There's some really nice people on here. Mm-hmm. That amazes me, like the different cultures and stuff. Like this, is, it, it's cool that you know you see people from all over the world playing Outlands. That thing's yeah. pretty cool. Come here, Al Australia, Turkey, UK, South America, Canada. It's pretty cool. It's very uh, diverse. Man, those world saves me. Those world saves get me every time. Easy peasy. Come on, two. Coming to three. All right, I'm about to duck out. I'm Wait, overweight. You're leaving? Yeah. I'm overweight at the moment. Okay. Stiar. What? Stiar. You're back. It's so funny on my screen. There's like a glitch, and it looks like you're bald. Like it doesn't show your head face at all. <laughs> yep. I feel like the deep right now. You remember when he drove his boat through that whale or whatever? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got 9k on me. What is that? Cavernam headwear die. Oh, please let me <laughs> buy that from you. I would love to have a, a white bear mask, that would be so cool. Yeah. Since you got the white hair, I need a white top. What do you think? <laughs> You can't even see your headwear. It's a crown. It's your princess. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting tired. Yeah. I'm getting old. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. We made 85k tonight. It's not bad. Plus all that other stuff. But I don't know. Scrolls and aspect stuff doesn't seem to be selling like it used to. I think everybody's pretty much got what they need. Yeah, I think you're right. 
like used to you could just count on being able to convert that stuff into gold you know now I feel like I sit there for days trying to sell it um is this essence in here mine or have yeah. you split it yet no it's yours that that one is mine yeah so you did split it yeah you want that eldritch stuff Can I get the headwear die? <laughs> huh? You already have a lantern. Can I have my lantern? I'll take my chances. I'll take my chances with the roll. And if I get it, I know what I'm gonna use it for. You doing the split? Ah, yes! <laughs> I got it! Congratulations! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'll just keep all this gold. <laughs> yeah, right. No, that was fair and square. I offered. You said no. We're going to let it go by the roll. I have to give you a hard time, or you'll think I'm mad at you. You have to give me a hard time. Or else I'll think you're mad at me. Yeah, that's how that works. I won't think you're mad at me because you're being hard on me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Whatever, whatever you say. Okay, I'm gonna split the gold. All right. We should get some waterfalls for the house. Split is 43, 146. Nice. Yeah, not bad at all. No. Are my pets at the house? Oh, uh, never mind. There they are. No, they're not at my house. I left them. Terrible digital pet owner. Oh yeah, that looks m amazing. 
That does look really nice. That looks cool. And now when I get my cavern and robe, it'll look real cool too. And I got the tailoring scroll. <laughs> Nice. How much do you charge for ID ones? Oh, I made a whole bunch because um, there's a side quest not long ago. Nice. I think I put a bunch in one of your chests. In one of my chests? Yeah. When? I'll just bring you some. Uh, I don't need too many. trying to hand me anything, are you? Yeah. Alright. Uh, thank you. you. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Alright, let's try this out. This is great. I'm sorry, huh? Are you finding some? Oh, somebody's finding something else in my house. Thanks for the wands.
Uh, yeah, I had a table right here, but I put that recycler in the floor. Yeah, I moved it there. I'm putting something on it. Check this out. Better lock that back down. Mm mm. Look, no worms on you. Run. Yep. <laughs> well, I think you can get away. You're not getting away. <laughs> I'm a signal no roach on you. <laughs> no, you're not. Mm-hmm. Oh, stole my pole, my die. For shame. <sighs> I'll let you put it back and I won't steal everything out of your house and lock my doors. <laughs> I was going to take you off one of Yeah, right. No, I got 15 characters in the house. You can't get them all out that quick. Mm. That did. Something of a badass. Huh? I'm something of a badass. You are. Mm hmm. Not that I'm anywhere close. It's very pretty. That's why I got it. All right. You didn't give me nothing. You did not. I figured. I'm going to put my cavernum die up here. Don't take it either. <laughs> I need to die on this table. have like a cavern or a carpet dyed section of the house. That'd be pretty cool. You end up putting it in the floor. It deserves better than the floor. My bro chest. <laughs> I'll take my bro chest.
much stuff. So what happened to Cody Blake? Hmm? Put it in uh, Charlie Fox chart, join us. He was watching a uh, movie with his kids. Oh, okay. Yeah, it makes sense, right? So, this room that that chest is in, I think I'm going to empty. Hmm? And I might make that like a display room. <laughs> you could make a display area over my house. Need some more decorations. It looks good on the table. I got the scavenging down here. It looks really good. Like the the bottle looks really cool. You know? Yeah, I need to change mine. See how good that looks? Okay, we need to put some more plants out here. Especially if you use a black table. I'm going to set up, um, go buy some of the larger pots and put out here. Yeah. So I can just set them up. Actually, you know what, I'm going to go do that. Can you make the serum? The plant serum? The, like the growth stuff? Yeah. I think my alchemist can. Cool, because that's kind of the uh, set it and forget it stuff, right? Like you don't have to do much with it, just put that on there. What about the uh, the heating trays and stuff like that? What's it do, do you know? It increases well, growth, right? And your water and stuff, right? It makes it grow faster. You have to have taste ID, though, to like figure out what the right stats are. Basic treated heat filter, water buckets, watering cans. This is what I want. Large, huge clay pots. I'm gonna buy six of them. Eighteen thousand. Good grief! It's like I'm made out of money. <laughs> it's half my cavern I'm farming. It'll be worth it though when I sell that tree for 200k. Yeah, but guess what you can do with a big pot? What can you do with a big pot? Grow trees. I don't know if I want to put this on the roof or where. You're still finding. I don't know.
The regular shovels are what you use for the dirt. And your inscriptionist can make the uh, farmer's almanacs that you'll need to take some of the stuff on there. Yeah, yeah like the crows and the goats and just... I can make your other stuff though with the alchemist or the chef. Yeah, you know, like you can labor and tool them every 24 hours, but you have to do it with somebody that has taste ID. I mean, like, you have to move around. Easy peasy, man. Yeah, yeah, I did that. I just grew some star grass. That sounds fun. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, I can. Like, I have no clue where to put the star grass. I want to put it somewhere, but it just doesn't go anywhere. Um. Did you figure it out? 
Okay, cool. Yeah, you can only do it once every 24 hours. It won't let you do it, like, prematurely. You have to wait the 24 hours. Do you see one of our allies wants to sell 150 exceeding spell books? Yeah, that's a lot. Ah, he didn't say. I think he just wants a message. It has what? It has plant STDs. Tell it to protect itself better. Did you make that um, farmer's almanac kit? I think you have to have that to get rid of your toads. So you probably have to log on to your thing. Um, you can put like uh, water purifier on it too, I think. If you want me to, I can make you some. I think it like increases the uh, efficiency of the water. That's what I'm guessing. Yeah. I can log on my chef and make that. Yeah. So, should I go down with just the worm and then, like, um, my sand roach? I'm just saying, I'll have to jump out because uh, I won't be able to control my pets.
I've got to log out and log right back in. So should I just bring my bar prowler? You want to get your book? <laughs> that boat is still there. Did you see it? You don't have it on you. Is it okay if I just run through here? Or do you want to fight it? I still can't find that poison poon. <laughs> yeah, it went into the store shelf. Yeah. Hey, that grew followed us. Yeah, it's pretty good. I did all kill on the dragon.
it's taking damage from up our crawler because it does the area thing. Dead gum. Yeah, I shouldn't have brought the crawler. behind you. It's terrible. I mean, very, very bad. <laughs> they spawn in another place. piece is so nice. Do you know where they're at? Got your heels.
Yeah, I think they're. I think they spot on two as well. Unless I moved them. I don't know. It's been like a year since I last tamed them. <laughs> so scary, so precarious. <laughs> I know. It's nuts. Yeah, this could take a while. Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Well, you would think. I have a 2% taming chance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it would take me a hundred times to try and tame this worm. Yeah. I don't even have peace. I don't even have a husband that could come down here and peace this thing for me. <laughs> Thanks for helping me tame it. Don't know what I'd do without you. Yeah, sorry, you guys are getting the boring part of the stream tonight. Doing plants first and now taming worms. <laughs> oh no, we got another one. Is that one any better? I don't know, piece it. <laughs> Um, negative 0.2 on hits, and negative 9.2 on dex. The rest is green. Negative 9 dex? Yeah. Jeez, what's up with these terrible worms? I can't kill it though, because my prowler will... Oh, I got it, one. I got it. I can solo okay. everything down here. Can you piece this other one? Yeah. He's, uh, back active. Barding break, or broke bard, bar had a barding break. <laughs> that lich or whatever it is that's laughing, that's just sounds so ominous. I need to find some good music to play. Where? Okay, I got it. The wrong one. Hmm. Nah, I got it. can do it. What are you going to name it? I don't know. Can you stick your worm on that or your roach on that thing? that one doing on the piece? Enjoyed running with those two blood worms. That was really nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that used to be the thing. Blood That's worm? what you would see anyway. Most people are running roaches and prowlers or roaches and birds nowadays. Yeah. But I don't know. I use my bird. It seems kind of squishy. Yeah. Phoenix? Yeah, they're really squishy. Oh no, it does pretty well. Oops. How's that one look? 
Um, that one's negative 2.1 on armor and negative 6.7. I'm sorry, negative 2.1 on damage. Ne negative 6.7 on armor and the rest is green. So it's worse than the other one. Yeah. We got tracking mark a toady. Uh, 48 spaces. 29 spaces. Uh, oh, you got it. You got it. Let's get out. Hey. Come on. Sweet. Well, that was a perfect time. Okay, I can't defend myself at all because of uh, this thing. No worries. Alright. You get out? Yeah, got out. Man, that was such perfect timing. <laughs> that was good timing. That was scary. <laughs> nice job. Do you want me to bond it? Uh, no, I can go bond it for you. You don't have to do that. Do you want to bond it? Yeah, I'll bond it. That's fine. Um, I did get a 6.5k and a treasure map. Nice. Nice. And I got something else. Uh, water phylactery. Okay, you ready for me to transfer him? Yeah, go ahead and whenever you're ready. Oh, we gotta give him a second. He's been in combat. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Good to go. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Alright, let's do this. Alright. Name him. I guess I think I should name him. I mean, he needs a good name. Owen approved name. <laughs> you could name him after the red that almost killed us. Yeah. Uh. Mm, can we name him? I think that's how you spell it. Alright, uh, let's go. Okay. Alright, let's go. Help. Let's go to mastering. Are you going to shelter the bottom? Yep, start the bonding. This should go pretty quick. What? Oh, yep. Let me fix that. Thanks for taking that for me. You're very welcome. Sorry, it's not great. We'll get you another one. No, it'll be fine. I'll just boost it up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It's got good decks, good hits. Okay, wrestling. That'll be all right. I can work with that. I mean, he's not tanking, so the armor doesn't really bother me that much. Yeah, that's true. Yeah.
<laughs> oh, forgot to restock. Do you want me to bring you anything? Yeah, can you bring me some arrows and some bandages? Do you need a quiver? No, I got a quiver. Okay, how many bandages? 100. Um, 200. You got 6% off that drying. Yeah, this will go pretty quick. Yeah, 3%. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, I'm up here next to the ogres. Man, you can really tell the damage went down <laughs> now that he's not level 10 anymore. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Do you need heal pots or anything? No. You need food? No. No, nope, that's all I needed. Thank you okay. so much. You should get up to level 10 pretty quick. I guess I could run command until I get him leveled up. Yeah. Let me get it bonded. We can go to cab if you want to. Sure. Let's see where we're at. 23? Okay, so it's not bad. 23. I mean, it's going pretty quick. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Yeah. Go up and kill the liches. Do you run vet on that guy? Yeah, I got 90 vet. And, uh, yeah. We got 120 taming and lore, 120 arms lore, 100 archery, 90 tactics, 90 vet, 80 healing. Gets me 4 codex slots. And gets me my pets. I wish there was a heal spell that worked like the vacates. Hmm? I wish there was like a heal spell that would heal all of your pets like a vet kit does. Oh, like an area heal? Yeah, like an area heal. That yeah, would be, be great. Nice. 27. Well, seems like I was gaining more off the uh, Edmonds and stuff. Maybe.
Was that your blinny? That just went zipping across the aquarium? <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah, something else. <laughs> the blinny? Yeah. It does look like Oscar, doesn't he? <laughs> Up to forty two. So slow. Mm hmm. Even with command on, still slow. It's amazing how much more damage these things do when you get them boosted up. Yeah. I mean, like right now, he's doing like twelve damage. But leveled up, will do like sixty to eighty, right? Alright, up to 62. Nice. I think I'm just gonna do dex and damage on him. That's it, right? Oh, yeah, I guess I should do re wrestling too. Maybe two, two, and one. I'm honestly not sure. I think you're wrestling, you need to have up to like 90. Or maybe it's Dex that's 90. There's one, there's like a break. Yeah.
so close. to 79, so he's almost done. Do you want me to go ahead and uh, recycle these magic items? Yeah, sure. Then uh, one cab run after this? I just got back from a cab. How is it? Business as usual? Yep. Yeah. used to fight these orcs all the time. Yeah. And they were so hard. Like, I knew they were just going to kill me every time. <laughs> it's funny. And everything's dead down here. I mean, we could try taking it to Cav, and then just get you out if somebody comes. Yeah, I think I'm going to. I'm going to work my way around. I'm at 84. <laughs> Some of these things are too low, I'm not getting anything. There's 84. Hit it off these three. Oh, 91, so close. I'll finish this off in cab. Six. Yeah, I'm right behind you. How about that? No, I looted one. Yeah, let me check. Oh, 96 still. Ninety-eight. 
so close. Got it. Congrats. Thanks. Thanks for taking them for me. Yeah, you're welcome. Alright, so I'm gonna do decks. I'm gonna do damage. Large fiend. Oh wait, it's back here. Are you ready for the demon? Or do you mm -hmm. need to heal? I'm glad to see his wrestling's not too far off the other one. And the other one didn't have any boost to his wrestling, so... It's promising. Already got 25k in Cavernum. That's awesome. I just need 225k more. Yeah, I need to do 50k a day. 50k. Yeah. yeah, I should definitely set a daily goal. Need to do that for homework. <laughs> yeah. I got Dennis, 34 spaces. If he attacks me, I'm just going to attack him back. Hey, he's going that way. Back. I don't know what that way means. <laughs> Momo, come back this way. Unless you feel like that. Which, I just don't understand which way is he coming. He's like over in the middle right now. He's at 40 spaces. Are you sure he didn't run down to level 2? I'm not tracking him anymore. I think he went to two. Are you running two blood rooms? No, you're in leapers. Yeah, I need to find another one. You gonna run two of them? 
Yeah, I think so. I'm going to try it. I like it. I think those are my favorite pet combinations so far. Just because they've all got that self-heal. Amazing. Yeah. Did we get any uh, aspect stuff? It's still in the distro chest. Is this mine? Sand colored robe? I haven't seen that color. Is that one of those Provali co colors? Provali merchant? Maybe. If I could proc on these guys, but they lowered the chance to proc the other day. Yeah. I don't proc near as much as I was. I don't know. I'd almost rather proc just as much, but maybe lower the damage or lower the effect. But proc more and proc less for the same. I don't know. It's hard to find balance. Where'd you go? Oh, I see. Do you care to loot? No, not at all. We got stealth steps down there, be careful.
Is that the color you were looking at earlier? Ashwand? Oh, no, 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 no. It was Ben Kenobi. Oh, okay. Yeah, look at Ben Kenobi. Look at that sand color. You just yeah, ran by him. Yeah, I just saw him. Do you want to get Thanks. the operator or no? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't pull that grenade he throws. Oh, that's the one that throws the bombs. Yeah. Yeah, those things suck. Mm -hmm. yeah, no, thank you. Maybe the water demons will be out. With Dennis. Oh, he's streaming too. Do you have any major? None. About picking up 60 majory. Yeah, just for like greater nice. here teleports and stuff. Yeah. Do you have that on Lala? No, I don't. I thought about it though. Blaster has got an archer build, he's running like that. I need to get that from him. Oh, there's somebody down there, I didn't see that. Oh, that looks cool. That does look really neat. <laughs> that looks cool. That red bow and that black. Yeah, that looks really good. Looks like he's running charcoal. Yeah, I think it was charcoal. That looked clean. Were you thinking about doing some charcoal? Yeah, until I thought I'm going to spend a hundred bucks on it. <laughs> and yeah. I just hadn't talked myself into it yet. I mean, it's two dollars per piece if you buy it with Provagi coin. <laughs> so even a robe's like 28 bucks. I don't know, what did he have? He had the split skirt. I didn't see what he had up on top. A tunic, maybe? Okay, we going to Kev? Yeah. I went down the left. Of course. <laughs> I figured such. Think the demon's up? Yeah. Do you want me to meet you in the middle, or do you want to come down the left? No, come around. More okay. kitten.
How's your arm doing? Yeah, pretty good on this level too. Thank you so much. Yeah, he'll level up pretty quick as much as we stay down here. Yeah. Do you need another poultice? Uh, yes. Thank you. That's cool. You loot that one? Yeah, I got it. Awesome. Good deal. Oh. Oh, the 120 arms lore on a tamer, by far, is probably my favorite skill. And uh, I'll tell you why. So 120 arms lore obviously increases the special uh, weapon special chance. But let me show you player stats real quick. So I combine it with water. So I'm running tier 6 right now, which gives me a 14% increased chance to do the weapon special. If I look at the player stats, uh, melee, um... Uh, no. Weapon special chance 36%. So let's say every uh, two to three shots I'm hindering. So I mean, monsters just don't do any damage at all. So almost like I get the benefits of having like peacemaking on a character, but I'm still doing some extra damage and have some extra versatility. Now I haven't seen what it looks like when you take it down to 80. I don't know how much of a decrease that would be, but 120 is pretty awesome. Uh, this has been one of my favorite builds so far with uh, 120 arms lore and then uh, um, just trying to figure out a way that I could fit at least four weapon skills in there so I can increase my codex. And if I can just get my healing to 80, it uh, bring me up to one tw or 720. So at least unlocks four. I hadn't quite figured out a way to get five on there yet. <laughs> I suppose I could drop... Well, you know, I could drop Vet. Uh, you know, that would suck. I'd have to have another character to res my pets, I guess. But um, I don't know these blood worms tend to heal themselves. I could probably get away with not taking Vet and taking up another weapon skill. Yeah, how long, Star, how long have I uh, been doing the archery thing? It's at least been a couple of weeks, right? Yeah, a couple weeks. So this character I've changed, gosh, probably ten times. I change this build every week. And I used to have, or actually I started with peacemaking. I was a peace tamer. I uh, decided that was too boring. Went to a fencer tamer. And the thing about having the weapon skill, especially a melee skill, is you have to get so close. And what I found was, you know, my pets and I did some damage, there was no doubt. But I took so much damage and the pets took so much damage that I felt like I was spending too much downtime healing. So I decided to go with a mage, mage tamer, 
did that for a while and just that uh, wasn't my thing. I was finding I was just sitting there casting greater heal on my pets and really didn't do any good. Then um, I went back to the fencer tamer, tried that again, back to the mage tamer, and finally decided to give archery a try. And since I've done archery, it's been like the sweet spot. Yeah, yeah, it was brutal. I was running fencing with the uh, blood hunters. And uh, I don't know, like you'd fight a, a demon and it chain lightning you over and over again. And, but you've got to stay close enough to your pets. Uh, there's an ability if you stay within so many tiles, you get a damage bonus. I just couldn't stay in there and not avoid or and be able to avoid taking too much damage. It just wasn't a fun play style. But with archery, with a hinder, Ah, it's amazing. Pets don't take any damage. I'm able to stay back, which is really nice. So I don't catch any of the area of effect spells from monsters, which is nice. Hadn't tried macing, though. Considered it, but... I don't know, I guess fencing's the meta, but... A lot of archers nowadays, too. Uh, let's see, what did I have? I think I had Herding on this character before I took up Tactics. And uh, Tactics made me a bit more PvP friendly. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, I'd give Archery a try. I mean, I raised it up in a night. So with the Quiver, I've got a Verhide Quiver. I loaded him up with maybe 2,000 arrows and parked him at the zoo. By the next morning, I was GM. Didn't run out of arrows. Did it overnight. Easy, right? Yeah, I guess that's a good thing about the weapon skills. Raise them all up pretty quick. Uh, one thing I like about the uh, archery as well is how cheap the bows are. You know, I can get a bow for a few K, like a Verhide bow for two or three K, a Veilhide bow, or I guess a Veilwood bow for a little more than that, whereas I was looking at, uh, what are it, Valorite maces and Aberite maces, and, you know, they were 10, 15 K a piece, so this build's a lot cheaper on top of that. Oh, the Fire Archer's awesome. So did you go uh, like a full archer build? Like pure archer? Yeah, you can't beat it. My uh, other Echo, I do play this one every now and then. I've got to try fire on it though. But 120 arms lore, kept it. 120 camping, 120 track, 100 tactics, 100 archery, some anatomy and healing. And that's a ton of fun. I think fire would make it even better. Yeah, I keep telling Star the 120 tracking's nice because uh, I can track reds when they leave their house instead of when they're 50 tiles away. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I was surprised how much I like the uh, 120 camping. You know, I always liked camping in general, but that 120's nice. I mean, the carry weight, but the hiking's cool too with the custom locations. I always forget to fill up my rune tome. So, uh, you know, having that hiking available was uh, a nice backup. So my uh, tamer, we decided to change up a little bit tonight. Um, I was talking to a guy from BB who always runs around with these blood worms. And uh, for me, I'd always use the Phoenix or I used the Prowler. I'd play around with the Blood Hunters or the Black Cats every now and then. But I never tried more than one blood worm. And these things are crazy. 
Yeah, from what I can tell from the 120 camping, you basically get the custom mark spots. I haven't uh, tried it anywhere but Star's House, but I'm sure it follows the same logic. Like, you couldn't mark in, like, a dungeon or anything. And I think you get three with 120 camping and can unlock some more with the codex. Or not the codex, the uh, customizations. The hardest thing about 120 camping is just finding those freaking scrolls. I could not find those things for sale anywhere. I lured that one. Yeah, no problem. But it is, uh, it's crazy convenient. You're talking about the, uh, when you hike in place to go somewhere? That one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no doubt. I've, uh, <laughs> been wanting to take it down to, uh, Ossuary 4 and see how much gold I can get out with. I think the most I've had on him is like maybe 25, 26k, which is nuts, right? <laughs> yeah, the weight sucks. If the weight was better, or the uh, uh, weight from uh, hiking was better. Alright, no problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got 6k. Okay. Yeah, it'd be a little better if you didn't have to wait. I think it's what, like 10 seconds to hike? Now, with that said, you may hike faster with higher camping. Uh, that 120 hike was seemed quick. Yeah, yeah. So, at Star's House, we've got the uh, the red tome that holds all the spells, and uh, we've got it loaded up with recalls. And I forget constantly to refill this book. Huh? <laughs> yeah, and Star has to come find me and gate me back to the house. So it was a nice, uh, nice little backup. Yeah, but at one twenty. Um, Let's see, so at 100 camping, when you light a fire, you've got to wait 15 seconds. But with 120 camping, you only have to wait 4 seconds. So it's, uh, the difference between 100 and 120 is pretty significant. I think it gets you up to 630 stone. Yeah, oh yeah, no doubt. Yeah, so not only ton of carry weight, four second camp. Uh, the w only thing I haven't tried with it is uh, logging out anywhere, you know, with a bedroll. I don't know, I'm always uh, anxious. <laughs> I'm going to think I've logged out, but haven't. But that could be pretty convenient, too. <laughs> yeah, you're standing there, yeah. So... <laughs> That's wild. Are you still on two? Oh, that's nice. Uh, yeah, I'm on two now. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you know, I suppose it's uh, it come in handy. I guess it's situational. I don't always find myself parking myself at the house. End of the day. <laughs> exactly, I'm with you. Uh, but I guess you could park yourself right outside the dungeon. That could be pretty convenient. Yeah, sorry, I'm on three. That could be pretty convenient. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's what I'd have to do, too. I think, ah. I just get the rune tome. Now, if you didn't have the rune tome, it'd be a lot more valuable. Or I guess the rune book. But you know, this rune book, that hundred K was the best I ever spent. Holds fifty recalls. I think uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twenty six runes. Yeah. And you can cast without uh majory? Pretty awesome. Oh yeah. 
No doubt. <laughs> you know, I, uh, like, I've got that character with 120 camping. My tamer right now doesn't have any camping at all, 390s max. I feel like I could stay in here for days with 120 camping, and the moment I switch my echo, I feel like I can't hold anything. I feel like I can hardly come down here with a potion and not be overweight. <laughs> the 120 camping spooled me. Chain camping is not part of the codex. That'd be nice. Get your codex skill or your codex rank and get your uh, 120. Oh, I forgot to mention earlier. <laughs> yeah, right? Spend too much time running back and forth. You know, one thing I didn't mention earlier uh, was asked how I like the 120 arms lore. I combine it with the maiming skill, too. Once I get healing up to 80, of course, this will be forward. It'll be even better. But just that additional hinder effect lasts 10% longer per rank and deals just a tad bit more damage. Um... So, let's find a monster real quick. So, at four, uh, that'll be like a five, four or five second hinder, which is insane when you're hindering them every other shot. But, from a damage perspective, I found my pure archer did maybe 150 to 200 damage a shot. And even without the tracking and the camping, you know, every now and then I'm doing about 100 damage per shot. So I haven't really lost too much, but I get the added utility having the pets too. Really, uh, really makes a big difference. And even those hinder shots, I get up to 150, 200 damage. Just not as consistent, I guess, as my pure archer. Hey, did you get that poultice? Uh, yes. Okay. But nothing to complain about. Did he get that goal? Yeah. I okay. Cool. Oh. You know, interestingly enough, I uh, I've been wanting to start a, a macer, but just pure dexer, running macing, and couldn't figure out exactly where I wanted to land with the build and the pure archer build with the 120 camping and 120 tracking really worked well. I mean, that was a really solid build, especially with the Hinder. So I decided I was going to echo over, drop archery, and just raise macing up. And I don't know what it was about that build, but it was terrible. I mean, awful. <laughs> so I dropped it, ended up, uh, I thought the 120 arms lore would be really nice. Ended up dropping it down to 80 and picking up some parry totally changed the build uh, yeah this one here 120 camp 100 tactics 100 macing and then uh, 80 arms or 80 parry 80 heal so you get your 5x in the codex and then uh, I'm I was uh, 120 tracking but I'm gonna drop it for 120 forensic I mean you gotta make use of that 120 camping right <laughs> Yeah, the Perry Codex is amazing. Um, having a hard time figuring out which one I want to go with, but the, the finishers are awesome. Like this one, the 10% chance to reduce the bleed disease or poison to one damage. And then uh, last chance is pretty cool too. 25% to reduce any damage taken to one. That's insane. Oh yeah, Bulwark's cool. Uh, boarding, what is that one? Oh yeah, oh absolutely, yeah that's a really good one too. I got a window go. Yeah, that's awesome on all the codices. Yeah, fencing looked really cool. I was playing around with uh, Blackguard. 
trying that one out. I was going to take that up to five on my, uh, <laughs> I had an Echo that was a Poisoner at one point in time, but the Dexter was just so squishy for the time being. <laughs> yeah. I thought I'll run an air set, I'll have poison, I'll have the fencing codex, and I couldn't fight anything. I was just getting destroyed. So I thought I'd run the tamer and get my aspect gear up, uh, or aspect levels up, and then try it again later. So kind of mid plan, I suppose. What do you guys do for the uh, the macing codex? Are you guys using wind up or do you use something else? Been using wind up with the air suit, but I'm wondering if like maybe aggressive may be better. Or uh Yeah? Do you find uh you take too much damage? I think at five it does. You take ten percent more damage, right? I saw that that uh I don't know, I didn't think it'd be as good with the uh increased damage, but saying it's pretty good. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. I got you. Nice. I'll have to give that a try. That, uh... Without that, um, air suit, you swing so slow with wind-up. I mean, you wouldn't think 25... What is 25% would make that much of a difference? But it's brutal. <laughs> it's like hiking, right? Feels like it takes forever. Oh yeah, nice. So, how long does it take when you're in, when you're fighting to change your Oh, I guess you can change it during the fight. Well, that's cool. For some reason I was thinking there was a delay. That's awesome. I need to echo back over to my Dexer. Who needs a tamer? These codexes are great. Oh, I got it. So shield, finisher one, two, three. Same with mazing archery. I got it. Nice. That's awesome. I just so are you hindering right now? Yeah, I just hindered it again. Why? Yeah, oh yeah. I've got maiming up, so I get the longer hinders. And I got my water suit up. Yeah, so I'll hinder a lot. That's really nice. I was looking earlier, I've got like a 40% chance to hinder. It's stupid. And that's great on being able to switch so quick between the finishers. I've got to get mine finished out. I finally hit long shot rank 3 tonight. These two just seem amazing to me with archery. But even incendiary, incendiary, from what I understand for it, if you don't have extra monsters around, you don't get any benefit. Uh, fouling may be interesting. With the damage resistance. And then I've heard Arcane's pretty good too. But I guess the ammunition recovery rates offset that with the. Uh, what am I thinking? I have a quiver. I gotta give that aggressive shot. I was uh, playing with my Mesa earlier. That's just a fun build. Dexters are so much more fun now. Do you wanna pull it back? That's right, yeah. And then again, if we pick up that other one, you can solo one, I can take the other. You realize we're both wearing blue. Classic.
Yeah, Macing's really good. I love those uh, big hits. Got a, a friend of mine that's running a, a void suit, just your standard macer template, parry, whatnot, and uh, using void. And uh, void gives you that extra, extra damage hit. Let me look it up real quick. Yeah, so chance to ignore armor resist or 15% damage. This adds up really quick. You figure 4.5% per tier. So you figure if you're ranked 10 and you've got an additional 40, that's 65% extra damage. <laughs> I mean, that's amazing. He's doing like 250 damage hits with his Macer, out damaging tamers. It's wild. That's the one aspect I haven't, I want, but I haven't got yet. This is a void. I don't know. I, I stay broke. <laughs> I got too many, uh, too many goals. I think. What goal am I working on now? Ah, ingots. <laughs> I've got a wild hair to start working on my blacksmith again. And uh, well. Oh yeah, absolutely. You got that parry and that resist bonus too. It's awesome. Oh, I got you. I got you. So you're saving the void for the tinker? Or oh, you're saving ingots for a tinker? That's what I'm saving mine for too. This is my tinker. Dang. Grillin, did he have a void suit? Oh, yeah, I see now. Reading comprehension's escaping me this late at night. <laughs> That's wild. Void seems to be the way to go, and it used to be so cheap, too. I think it was uh, under underutilized, or what's the word I'm looking for? Underappreciated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Void costs a ton. I should have gotten in on it when it was cheap, and air cores were 3k a piece. Uh, uh, looted one. I didn't see another one. Did you get the other one? Yeah, I'd be fearless too if I could tank one of those. Gor Gorger, sorry. An avalanche. Yeah. That's wild. I need to give it another, another try. That was, uh, I don't know. I think I was judging it too harshly. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh, yeah, not doing too bad. I've got, I don't know, tons of air cores and extracts and tons of water stuff. Uh, just trying to get them both leveled up. I'm six now. Should hit, uh, I don't think I'll hit seven tonight, but I'm close. Air, I'm up to four. Uh, command, <laughs> somehow I got it up to five. I don't, I don't even know how. Uh, Eldritch, I'm telling you, this guy's been through uh, quite the journey. Um, huh? Okay. Oh. I just went overweight. Um, got a little bit of everything. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's right. Pone Star Gaming. <laughs> Love it. Thanks for joining, man. Hanging out with us. Star and I have been uh, living in cavern in this afternoon. Figured he might as well share the mirth. It has been fun. <laughs> yeah, the echoes are so cool. Finally saved up enough. Ended up going with uh, with three. So I opened up the one, and, and then of course ran out of money <laughs> quickly. <laughs> the uh, the next big goal I'm going for is with the customizations. They've got one in here. Uh, let's see which one is it. Uh, the Jack and Jill of all trades. So it lowers your echo cooldown by 
and can reduce your echo time. So right now mine's 12 hours if I change an echo. But with both of those customizations, you can get it down to where you can change every hour. Which that just seems like it'd be game changing. Change every hour. You know, play around on Tamer for a little bit. Swap over the Dexer. Switch over to, I don't know, your Treasure Mapper. Uh, yeah, I think I closed it out. What did we get? Oh, I got the map. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Bone Star, we were joking today. Uh, Star and I, we spend entirely way too much time in Cavernum. Uh, if there was a dungeon you could find us at, it would be Cavernum. And uh, we were talking earlier. It's like, oh, where do you want to go? You want to try something new? It's like, eh, let's just go to Cavernum. And sure enough, we've been there for, what, four hours today? <laughs> Ooh. Overweight. I had 7k I didn't put in there. If you want to split it. Oh, I can keep it. Nice. What do you want me to do with this other headwear die? I can keep it too. <laughs> yeah, oh well, yeah, I'm full. <laughs> no worries. Hold on, hold on. Let me fix this problem. There we go. <laughs> Thank goodness for stable masters in your house. Oh man, if you've got an echo on two tunes in four months, dude, you're doing awesome. Yeah, you're doing all right. I've played this game for two years, and somehow I am still broke. I have no idea why. <laughs> you would think I would have accumulated some amount of assets by this point, but I don't know. <laughs> all right, I'm heading to bed, so I hope you guys have a good night. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Get that. Okay, go to the house. Ah, oh, hear ya. Yeah, at least you got some good, uh, good game time in. Uh, Pone Star told you good night. Oops. You know, Pwn Star, I was uh, doing some plants earlier. Couldn't help but think of uh, that video you did the other day. Trying to figure out what some of those other um, different tools were I had used before. Yeah, isn't that the truth? I was talking with a, a friend of mine the other day, and we were just talking about just how they've managed the economy in UO Outlands. And when you think about it, it's really impressive. So let's consider for a moment skill scrolls, junk skill scrolls. You can use them for unlocking echoes. You can turn them in for vents. You can use them for, you can turn them in. I think there's a place where you can turn in stuff like that for essence. Like, tons of ways that you can get those things out of the market so you don't uh, ruin the price of them or have an overabundance of them. Um, aspect gear, thinking about weapons that you find, junk weapons. You don't want them, don't need them, but you break them down for arcane essence so there's this constant need for them. It's uh, <laughs> yeah, farm fill, right? It is amazing what they've done with the economy. Um, just even be being two months or two years in, and uh, you know you play some games and it's already crashed or uh, there's a extreme inflation. This one, even though there's a lot of wealth, still uh, you know prices are still reasonable. They haven't gone up a lot. It's impressive. 
that, uh, you know, just, just play in the game, you think, oh, this is okay. But when you really think about it, they've really figured this out and done a good job. Yeah, did you guys see in the forum they had uh they had some ideas or some suggestions talking about like taxing systems and uh creating new land and I don't know. I don't think any of them are particularly ideal. I'd say that's probably the one thing right now that's some challenges. Yeah. But start the farm bill of Ultima. I love it. Star used to do all the plants. Most of the plants I've got here at this house all came from uh, her stuff that she used to do. But I managed to get the pots out. Decided I was going to jump back into it. And uh, can't wait to see what these things produce. I'm thinking 8400 is probably a tree. Yeah, one house per account would be good. And this comes from someone who used to have a house on every one of his accounts. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it, it was really nice. But there's just no room anywhere for anything. Um, general guidance I'm getting right now are, uh, is houses generally sell for ten times the deed price. <laughs> So even like this courtyard, I think I paid two and a half mil for it. So for this to be, you know, 20 mil is, just seems crazy. If anyone's interested. <laughs> it has a, you know, perfect spot on the island. Even has a nice waterfall in the backyard. <laughs> Recently remodeled. <laughs> One point five mil for a small house. You know, thank goodness they came out with rental rooms. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, you know, cool thing is, we really lucked out on these spots back in the day. Um, let's see, let me review. So, Star and I, we first got this little house here star used to own one here uh, i bought this one we had a small house here for some time then uh, we were watching this spot here huge spot and uh, the house finally fell one day it was late one night we went up there and looked house had fallen we went crazy trying to find some house that we could afford to put in that spot to hold it and uh Ended up working out, and Star was able to put her a courtyard there way back in the day. Yeah, the rental system would be pretty cool. Um, you know, another suggestion was to rent out empty buildings in town, which I thought was really cool. So if you had, uh, you know, you were walking through town and saw a place, you could just rent that building. And that sounded really cool, but then Owen mentioned that he had a design philosophy of not creating unused buildings, so everything has a purpose, so you don't really have a lot of empty buildings sitting around, but I thought the idea was interesting. Yeah, if we changed houses to one per IP now, people would go crazy. Yeah, between me and Star, we've got the two accounts. Or Star's got her, I've, I've got mine, I've got one other one. And uh, we've got one other house besides Star's house and my house. This little dock house over below Horseshoe Bay for our boats. But uh, that's it. We just got that one not too long ago, and it was still pricey. Wow. 
One of these days I'm going to make that Saladex money, though. Get that big Norse Lodge. <laughs> nice. Well, that's a good spot. Getting hooked up there. That's awesome. I think any of those Moongate houses, like uh, Pwnstar, you've got that Moongate, or at least that shop there at uh, Prevalia Moongate. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, nice thing about it. You won't really lose out on that investment. I mean, I haven't, uh, besides uh, holiday bells, I haven't seen anything generally go down in price. Those holiday bells should sure took a uh, jumped off a cliff. They went from like a million down to like I see them selling for like maybe 75k now. <laughs> That's smart, man. That was the the past two events have been, or I guess three events, been so crazy. We did a field of souls. Brutal difficulty though, like finding those uh, those reapers. Ah, oh, brutal. Thanksgiving event was pretty good. Didn't get any Thanksgiving items, but we at least got a chance to fight a few turkeys, which is cool. And then for the uh, the bells, the Christmas event, we did not get a single ticket. No bells, no tickets, nothing. And I'm telling you, we farmed all day, every day. I could not believe it. Our luck was terrible. Yeah, I gotta admit, they really do a good job. Watch some videos on the Winterlands event. The uh, Just like the whole workshop feel and, uh, you know, when you actually went to the event to fight things. And then... Uh, actually getting like the train tracks and things like that all oh, so cool hold on give me a second I'll see if I can't find you a link uh, let's see field of souls is pretty cool what did we get for field of souls was that the one where you got the uh, yes where you got the uh, skull carpet we got a couple of things what do we get we got candy oh we got the crystal skull <laughs> That's the one we got the crystal skull. So I actually did pretty good on that one. Uh, yeah, let me see if I can find one of those. Uh, yeah, hold on one second. I'm trying to see if I can find this field of soul entry. Ah, here we go. Found it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, the mariachis are so cool. I was uh, really hoping I could get one of those, but uh, I did manage to get a couple of crystal skulls. So where are they? Uh, where did you say they were, Star? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. So these are right here. They were pretty cool. They kind of look gemmed. They're pretty neat looking. <laughs> nice. Oh, with the mariachi? Oh, that's cool. You know, I'm looking. Uh, yeah, cool event. Oh, okay, that's cool. Nice. Oh, you know, I haven't done Strange Lands, um, so I can't speak to that. I think, Pwnstar, you've done some videos on Strange Lands before, haven't you? But it was cool, though. So you basically, uh, you went around Outlands and you looked for these bodies with these glowing green things floating up from them and you would get empty jars soul jars off mobs 
And as soon as you found one of those bodies, you'd use the soul jar, capture the soul, and they all had names. And then you'd go to Pravalya, and you would go to the event. Now, for every soul jar you captured, you'd try and find that person there at the event and kill them. So it'd be an NPC. But dispersed between the NPCs were these things called Reapers. And they would wreck you. <laughs> there was no contest. They would kill you. Straight up. And you'd have to be careful and kind of sneak around. And uh, there were some other other mobs there. But if you killed the matching NPC for your soul jar, you got more event points. And the way they put it together was really slick. Really, really cool. And I'm telling you, it, you know, they're doing such a good job with Outlands. I'm surprised DA hasn't come along and been like, hey, you know, can you help us with our Ultima Online? Because it's terrible. <laughs> like, this is the, uh, the Ultima. It always should have been. That's really good. <laughs> Every now and then, I'll uh, I'll resub back to... Uh, you know, original UO, just to mess around and check it out, and I last maybe 30 minutes, and I'm like, this is awful. You know, camping doesn't do anything. I can't figure out the skills and the bonuses I get. Where's my aspect stuff? Taming is awful. And then I come back. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> You know, even the uh, with having the new roleplay guy, Eric, coming on, they've got a really cool roleplay event coming up. And, yeah, I mean, just think about the community. They still probably have 1,500, 2,000 players playing this game all the time. But this upcoming roleplay event they've put together. So at King's Manor, they say the, the queen is in bad health and can't be moved, but the new uh, Erfton, Erfton, Erfton? I can't remember the name of where they're from, but they're like these special breeds of orcs. They have like bombers and things like that that are going to attack King's Manor. So you as a community have to prepare for that attack by donating different things. So you donate, I don't know, gems, and it brings in a, a certain set of NPCs to fight in the battle. Or you donate so many bandages, and it will increase their stats. But then you can also help the orcs as well. So they have things set up. So you can donate, <laughs> one of my favorites is you can donate wheels of cheese, and it will allow the orcs to bring the local rat men at the nearby hovel to come fight as well. Um... It's just really, really creative. I think that's the that's the word for it. Just super creative that you just don't see on any other shard. It's uh, it's refreshing. I mean, even Star and I, I'll get off work and we'll play probably five or six hours a night. I mean, not even think about it. Like this is uh. This is our jam, Ultima Online. If uh, for you married folks out there, if you have uh, something you and your wife like to do, it's awesome. For Star and I, you know, we this is our jam playing Outlands together. You saw us running around earlier. Tons of fun, but yeah, it's about every night we play. Uh, you know, five or six hours. We'll weekends we'll probably play the same. I probably play more Outlands than I work, and I you know full time easily working 40 hours a week I may be addicted <laughs> but it's fun they've done a good job with it to the point that you know you can play that long and one of the challenges I have is I get bored really easy <laughs> yeah tell me about it <laughs> tell me about it so star all day if we're farming she's like you know let me run that money out for you let me run those items out for you you keep farming and i'm thinking man lucky man am i <laughs> not only does my wife play she's helping me farm and <laughs> take stuff out of the dungeon i know right <laughs>
It's so funny when Star and I first met, uh, she didn't play very many games at all. I think it was just like Mario and stuff like that, like console game. Wasn't very much of a computer gamer. And uh, I got her hooked on Diablo 3 first. And then uh, it was right before Outlands came out. Did we play original UO before Outlands? No. Okay, so it was right before Outlands came out, and I just happened across it on Reddit. And uh, I thought, wow, this looks really cool. We've got to play this. And Star, she'll uh, she'll get mad at me for saying this, but I really have to work hard at convincing her to try new things. <laughs> and uh, I said, you've got to try Outlands with me. This is going to be really cool. Finally got her to give it a try, and uh, yeah, she's just hooked as I am now. <laughs> yeah, I did play Albion for a while. <laughs> Get my kids to chop wood. I love it. So we've got we've had several kids. Uh, they did play a regular UO with us for a little while. But I don't know. They got the Fortnite bug and Minecraft and Roblox. UO's just not as cool. <laughs> It's cool. You know, when I was a kid, you always had the LAN parties and things. Everybody's got their computers set up, playing games together. And, uh, you know, for the family, you know, like, that's our thing, right? Like, we just love playing computer games together and things. So I feel like it's a LAN party every day. <laughs> Sons and I have been playing a little uh, Warframe. Just uh, something a little different. So... It's fun. It's just a fun way to connect, I guess. Very fun. Yeah, Adam, you're talking about just the updates that are coming out now. So uh, they recently hired uh, two graphics designers. They hired them, right? And um, I, I feel we saw some of their work with the uh, Christmas Prevalia update. I mean, just pages of stuff available. I mean, of course, it's all for Prevalia coin, but, you know, I, I tell Star I could be doing cocaine. <laughs> you know, I could have more expensive or perhaps less healthy habits, but, uh, you know, buying some cool pixels is a lot of fun. But just some of the things that they were able to develop were, they look so cool. Like, I got that little, uh, what what is that thing, that little, uh, the, what was it, that little thing that plays Carol the Bells? Music box, yeah, I got the music box. Uh, we got some neon Christmas trees. I think you got a cinnamon roll plate. So, you know, it's just fun. I uh, got the, uh, for Thanksgiving, got the demon head on a platter. That was pretty cool. I mean, I know. Don't, uh... Let's see, you know, I've bought, like, microtransactions and things in other games. So I just never feel satisfied with them. Like, I got it, and it's like, yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't worth it. But, you know, like, I, I bought the periwinkle cloth, you know, did the the beard adjustment, got some different colors and things, and, like, everything just feels like, wow, that was a, that was a good investment because I gave back to a good server, good group of people. I don't... I just bought a, another 25 today to get another magic recycler. You know, it feels good to uh, to help them keep doing such a great thing because they are doing an awesome job. Love it. <laughs> We're going to do that with one Prevalia coin at a time. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? So this game's 20 years old. I mean, I played this back when it first came out. Like, we're talking like 97, 98. Loved it. Best game I've ever played in my life. Took a little bit of a hiatus. And now, 20 years later, we're sitting here playing Outlands every night all the time like 
you know, you think about it like our guild mates. Like I log on every day and I see the same people every single day. Six months from now, I'll log in. I'll see the same people. Like Outlands and its ability to just capture your attention and it's not something that you get bored with is really cool. You know, I'll play WoW for a little bit and I'll play it for a month and I get bored and then I'll take a break and then I'll resub somewhere down the line just to see what changed, but you know, it's it's interesting. I hadn't quite put my finger on systems and how they've uh how they've been able to make that happen, but they sure have. Eighteen years? Wow, I had no idea it's been around that long. Yeah, I was watching somebody play uh hybrid earlier. It's just so so different. <laughs> I was talking to a guy the other day, so I hang out in the new players Discord uh channel and uh was helping a guy out and uh, one of the first thing he asked me is like well where's britannia and i thought well or where's britain he's, i'm like why in the world would you want that when you have Prevalia <laughs> and you have outlands and you've got cambria why didn't you Trinsic? you know go to cambria uh you know check out horseshoe bay or outpost you know just uh <laughs> funny how things have changed 18 years. Could you imagine if we're playing Outlands 20 years from now and uh, UO's 40 years old and we're playing uh, UO in virtual reality? <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. First person UO or VR UO. <laughs> That's right. It's going to be really cool. Why, Dennis? Why? <laughs> oh, yeah. What do we say to Dennis? Not today. <laughs> Not today, Dennis. Yeah, I mean... So two years, look at what all they've done. Uh, did the castle siege thing. They just did the housing refresh. Uh, they've got the new guild systems and prestige. They've got the new aspect stuff coming out. I mean, you just look through the developer pipeline. Wow, tons of stuff. And that's just in two years. Wow, I can't even imagine what this is going to look like. And uh, you give it a couple of years. <laughs> You'd like to think so. And we, uh. You hear Momo in there? <laughs> He's after something. <laughs> so my character name comes from my, uh. Name of my dog. The name is Momo. So it's his namesake. And, uh. I was just sitting here, and he's going crazy in the bedroom. I don't know what he's doing. He's uh, quite the character. Oh, Dennis. You know, interestingly enough, Cav has not been busy today at all to have the society, the 250K. It was, uh, what was it, a couple of weeks ago, Cav had a society, and we tried farming it on a Friday night. We're talking, it looked like... Black Friday at a Target. Like, you couldn't go anywhere without running into somebody. Dead monsters everywhere. Couldn't do any farming. <laughs> Star and I were laughing about that today. We are like, of course it's Cav. Uh, what do you do? <laughs> uh, I'll be lucky if uh, I complete this one. Uh, making a little progress. I'm up to 73 points now. Not too bad. Oh, yeah, you know what? You're right. Yeah, they had the bells, too. 
Yeah, you're right. Uh, not not bitter about not getting a bell. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about the new changes with the, uh, you know, the reduction in aspect and some of the changes they made with Monster Health? Yeah. Yeah, still trying to make up my mind on uh on the aspect changes. Almost I wish you'd proc more, you know, like proc more but have less of an impact rather than now where they reduced it by half. It's always fun to proc, right? Yeah. So there's two this this week. There's the Nucero 250 and there's the Cavernum 250. And I took them both. I was excited, right? Or I didn't take Nucera, but I took Cavernum. I thought, that's perfect. I live in Cavernum. Surely I can make 250k. And we farmed all day and got 36k. Like, you would have to farm five or six hours a day for seven days to be able to hit that 250. No kidding. It, have you heard when they're going to come out with the other dungeon refreshes? So they did Nucero, which is amazing. You go to level 3 now and you've got uh, Inferno Demons run, Infernal Demons running around everywhere. You got Nice. Smoke Dragons, Smoke Drakes. Monsters everywhere. Hiding monsters everywhere. It's awesome. Then Darkmire's got uh, its level 3. Has some new changes that are really nice. But I hear they're going to do that for every dungeon, right? Oh, Cavernum getting an update like that would be awesome. Crag demons everywhere. <laughs> that would be great. Oh, yeah? Ah, oh, I didn't know that. I just remember the one sea hag there at the back of level three, the dark water at the gate. Oh, that's good. I'll tell you, Pullman would be a lot better if he didn't have those 20 tentacles <laughs> at the entrance to level two. <laughs> it's like torture. Oh, torture. Let's see. Look, I'm forgetting to do something. What am I forgetting to do? Ah, got to get my mason codex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then you're sucked into the tentacles, and uh, well, that's your life now. Just have to live amongst the tentacles. <laughs> yeah, Star just reminded me. We had this little, uh, when we first started, I, I mean, we had no idea what we were doing, despite me even having played UO for a while. No idea what we were doing. We finally saved up for that first house. I think there were 50K saved up for the first house, and we looked around everywhere to find a place to put this thing and finally found a spot on the beach below Andaria and placed it. I'm telling you, we were riding that high forever. But uh, she reminded me that it had a little, uh, one of those writhing tentacles right outside the front door. Now, why is that important? What's that matter? This was back when they had the active skill gain bonus. So you had to kill a monster, what, like every five minutes or your skill gain went in the tank? So this tentacle we could just run out the front door, kill this tentacle real quick, and run back in. <laughs> you remember all the bird macros? All the people sitting around at shelter waiting to lightning bolt a bird? <laughs> it's like a cue. Yeah, I gotta say, not having that, uh, have to do that anymore is fantastic. 
Oh, I was talking earlier. There's the demon head platter. That's a cool. Got the apple in its mouth and everything. So cool. I didn't know you got the curtains. Where'd you get the curtains upstairs? Those blue ones with the. Uh... Was it? Ah, uh, like an award? Uh, no. Oh, you bought them. Yep, yep, yep. You gotcha, gotcha. That's cool. Ah, oh, good stuff. Oh, let's see. So not a bad day overall. Got the cab lantern last night. Got that cavern of headwear die today. Almost calved out. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, Star calls this our bro chest. So we've got a, a good real life friend that plays with us too. That's his chest. That's mine. So these are the, the bro chests. <laughs> Yeah, those look really good. You're talking about the society point item, right? The like the Corsair jacket. Uh, let's see. Ah, the venture one, okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. This one right here. Well, that looks pretty cool. I don't think I've seen that one. You know, we've played a long time. We got this off when you first come into level 3 and you run past the skirmishers. And then you've got the uh, ability to run towards the winter weeds or go up just a little bit and turn. And you've got the Dracolisk and the... Um, Bolvor, we got it off the Dracolisk. So I think there's an opportunity to drop off anything in there, but I'd say weaker mobs is probably a lower chance, and higher level mobs is a little lower. We're talking negligible anyway. Nice. Yeah, I've been trying to figure out how to get some more of these. Did have uh, some artificer points for a while on my uh, scribe but uh, and I tend to tend to do these more than anything and the seafarer one star and I started doing those for a little bit before the seas got too crazy yeah I hear you we played two years I, I'm telling we farm a lot in Cav um, it is our go-to dungeon and it took us that long to find a lantern. So drop rate's got to be pretty low. Either that or we're just really unlucky. Which is, just, you know, it's possible too. But, nevertheless, they are there. But you can get them pretty cheap too if you wanted to buy one. I think I saw the going rate was maybe 200k. They weren't that bad. I mean comparatively speaking to other things I've spent too much money on black cats <laughs> anybody want some black cats I've got some really good ones <laughs> for sale <laughs> yes for money <laughs> oh. <laughs> that Adam is when you talk your wife into playing and then it's no longer a job or no longer something you spend too much time on it's bonding time it's good quality time <laughs> star and I we get we get pretty feisty over loot sometimes and uh, we're two most competitive people on the planet which adds some fun to it I suppose <laughs> she's better at this game than I am so she rubs it in sometimes <laughs> oh nice so did you know you can change the light levels um, 
you know, if you didn't want to fool with uh, with some of the uh, the lighting there. So you can turn the light levels on and off, um, which makes it a little easier to see. Um, a few things you can do with it. I keep mine on and keep it just a little lower just because I like that lantern glow. I think that's pretty cool. But still light enough that I can see. I see some people running around in streams like this. I don't know how they play. Way too dark. Can't see anything. But, you know, reasonable level. But it's cool you won it in a contest, though. What a cool thing to, to win. Lantern. Um, I've got a couple. Um, Salmonella, my, uh, my poison mage, has got a... Um, a poison aspect robe and uh, he's got a mausoleum lantern that's pretty cool it's like this this uh, this bright purple it looks really cool um, and who's got I think Uzgak here has got my spirit lantern I got one of those and I bought a couple off the off the market <laughs> he's cool let me tell you um, and of course he had to be a, a poison mage too I'll show you He's a ton of fun, though. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. So, <laughs> this is uh, Mr. Salmonella himself. So, the, the green was pretty cool, but that purple lantern, that mausoleum lantern, I thought looked pretty cool with the, with the green. <laughs> yes, it said I should uh, echo him over to make him the world's worst chef, Salmonella. I could poison food and leave it around. <laughs> Chandra, I poisoned some food for her earlier. Or Star, I poisoned some food for her earlier. And, uh, you know, she was going to leave it on, and in case she got killed by Red, you know, maybe they'd eat the food and get some lethal poison. But uh, she went back to the storage shelf, and, well, it just sucked the poison food right in the storage shelf. So we're kind of playing a game moment, see who gets the poison food, I guess. But, uh, yeah, speaking of other lanterns, I've got the, uh, got an Ossuary lantern. That looks pretty cool. The yellow's uh, got a nice color to it. And then uh, I bought this one. This was d during the King's Fair, maybe a year ago. The Shimmer Solstice. It looked pretty cool, too. It's, uh, oh, yeah, 2019. It's, it's interesting. I don't know. I used it for a little bit with that, uh, that blue robe. But... Uh, Ended up swapping it out. Ended up coming across a couple more lanterns. And uh, going with the dungeon lantern instead. <laughs> I love the idea echoing over though. That's going to be hilarious. I can't wait. Now I have another goal to spend my money on. <laughs> Just like 120k worth of cooking scrolls. <laughs> And uh, oh, all the meat ribs I've got to get, and the fish steaks. I've got so many to go. But look at all this food you could poison. As uh, namesake Salmonella, I get at least 200 hams and chicken legs in there. <laughs> Oh, that does sound fun. Salmonella the chef. We can give him a little outfit and stuff too. That'll be awesome. I love it. So speaking of uh, providing stuff, that's the thing I got from uh, the Christmas update plays music you can load it with different songs and stuff it's cool you know and nerd out a little bit of course Christmas tree from a couple of years ago that's always a fun one no I think stars got all the all the rare stuff of course there's the Christmas trees 
We got the neon pink one, the green one, and the blue one. It's pretty cool. I don't think. Uh, oh, and the uh, the turkey. We ended up getting a dark blueberry turkey at the uh, the Thanksgiving sale. Yeah, Star bought me the turkey. He's a good one. And uh, everything else, I think, came from Star's house. Yeah, turkey's cool. I think out of all the ones we ended up with, uh, the blueberry one looks pretty cool. Anything more? Yeah, I've seen some cool ones. The Inferno one's really cool. It's like super bright orange, almost like a safety cone orange, you know. It's really bright. And the uh, the bubblegum turkeys are pretty cool, too. Seen one of those. <laughs> But Star, her uh, her things keeping all the rare stuff. You can see her little collection over here. She got like the roses, the Valentine event with the heart of the mountain back in the day was really cool. Uh, everything. I don't know what else you got uh got over here that's rare. We got the the fragment here. <laughs> that's pretty fun. Really glad I got an opportunity to get that. Um, let's see. Of course, I'm telling you, she's uh, she's a lot better than I am at this game. Look at all these ribbons and trophies and stuff. It's crazy. Paper doll contest. Got all the event trophy. But then uh, some of these other rares are pretty cool too. A uh, lot of King's Fair stuff. Uh, let's see what else we got. The pot of gold from the uh, St. Patty's Day event the other other year was really cool. Got the the Grunch box, the first Christmas event where you had to fight the Grunch, and that was a cluster. <laughs> I nearly stopped playing Outlands. That that, that event was so bad, <laughs> with all the people running around dying everywhere. It was it was something else. But managed to get the Grunch box, which is pretty cool. And another Christmas tree. Some old tickets. Um. Cavernum Globe. I'm not sure when we got that one. What else we got? Of course, the champagne bottles we just got. I think so we got at least one bell. We got that ossuary one. Easter seed. Yeah, we bought that one. <laughs> so we had such a hard time finding, uh, finding a bell. Got the treat basket from Field of Souls. What we got? I think this is where all the rare stuff is, right? Bought a topiary king's fair. That's pretty cool. Another one out here. I don't know what it is? Llama. <laughs> yeah, right. I was uh, watching that video the other day. That was crazy. <laughs> no kidding. And he got out with it. <laughs> Good advice. That's cool. That's really cool. Let's see what else we got. Bought this the other day. Some hieroglyph. I think there's another part to it. And uh, these were the uh, the Cavernum expedition right before Cavernum Dungeon opened up. They had a uh, expedition. I can't remember how'd you get the points. Just can't remember. Donating is donating, right? And uh, you got a chance to get these rares, like snow-covered piers, the bucket of water, a barrel of water, some rocks, frozen stump. These were really cool. I liked it when it was these types of events, just because you had an opportunity to get some really cool rares. It's uh, a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I expected too. But that's cool. You got your bell. Which one was it? A <laughs> calf bell. I'm jealous. That's pretty cool. Started. Do you know you had plants up here? You got a cactus and a frond. I can have a cactus. What about a king's cup? That looks pretty cool. You never seen a king's cup? Oh yeah, I can have a king's cup. I like the king's cub. I'm gonna take the frond. 
I think you have a lot of fronds, right? I'll take the cactus. Very cool. Those look really cool. Fronds are really neat. I like your shroom closet, too. <laughs> Don't tell anybody about your shroom collection. <laughs> That's cool you got the cat bell. That's really cool. I may be a little biased, but I think everything calves cool. <laughs> About the only thing I get from calf that's rare, I get cavernum cloth and I get this cavernum carpet dye every other time I go down there. I get tons of that stuff. <laughs> and I don't know why, out of all the things to get. Hmm. We were in Palma the other day and got some Palma carpet dye. That was a cool looking item. Just this really cool looking blue. Yeah, out of all the dungeons, I think Cav, one of the reasons I like it so much is because it's just laid out so well. Um, you know, even looking at level one, you know, it's nice and open. You There's no bottlenecks, but if you want to go around the outside, you can find a lot of stuff to fight. They've got that demon on level one uh, right there in the middle. You get to Cav level two, and you've got a little bit of a winding, a little bit of a maze to get through until you get to the first gate. But then just tons of stuff to fight around the loop there. But then you've got the lake, and the lake, again, just super open but tons of stuff to fight then you get to level three and again still just really open and you've got that loop in the back with all the demons and fiends and things whereas if i go down to like mausoleum i start getting claustrophobic you know red comes in i can't go anywhere can i uh, can't really get out but cav's got a lot of flexibility i don't know i think i'm still biased <laughs> i'm pretty sure i'm still biased Cab is the best. They're in Cav with the crag demons. Yeah, I do have a ton of crag demons in there. Yeah. Yeah, the more HP. That's that's taking a little bit of getting used to. There we go. Those look good. I've installed all your plants. A little cactus garden out here. Yeah, that would be great. I planted a bunch earlier. You know, since you don't really have to tend them too much. I know, I feel like they're going to take forever, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm still got some I gotta, I gotta fix. I guess having the right water level and dirt level does make a difference. But I guess over time it's going to get some bonuses and it'll go up anyway. Or you can just put that uh that growth serum on all of them. Get that three hundred percent bona. It's right here. It's great. Got plans, this is foolproof. Only been playing since Thanksgiving, so you got a couple of months. Dude, you're already doing really good. <laughs> yeah, right, Bone Star. <laughs> I was like, uh, Star, you know, how can I make this um, completely hands free so I can get some good plants? And uh, she brought over a bunch of the serum, so I'm I'm sold. <laughs> Foolproof, don't have to mess with these things. Tend to them once a day and get some cool plants. 
oh max water and dirt like don't even try and target it with taste id just load it up yeah if you start yeah if you start branching out calves good you, you've got a good start there I've got a couple that I really like. I really like Aegis, but Aegis really works well because I've got a roach, and the roach is, as long as it fights one thing at a time, is pretty much immune to bleeds, disease, and poison. So once you get down in Aegis, there's tons of bleeds. It will wreck you. But with the roach, I don't have to worry about the bleeds. And of course with archery, I'm far enough away that it doesn't really matter. So that's a fun one. And then I spend a lot of time in Polma too. Polma's one of those you get in there and get out really quick. <laughs> You're speaking my language. I like those tips. <laughs> I too am lazy. So uh, yeah, we'll just uh, bump them up with water and dirt, throw a growth serum on there and see what we can get. Uh, so Polma's really good. Pulma, Aegis, or Cav is my rotation. Ossuary gives me anxiety. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Ossuary. Uh, Darkmire is another one. I don't know. Every now and then I'll go down there, but it's not a not a favorite. Then uh, usually spend a lot of time in Inferno, but one thing I found with Inferno is compared to some of the other dungeons now, the monsters in Inferno are just so far apart. Like when you think uh, level three, you get, uh, uh, you know, you start fighting the lessers and the moltens, and it just feels like you're running constantly. Whereas Cav, everything's pretty tight. Uh, seems to be more monster spawns. Yeah, Petrum's another favorite. Um, the Minotaurs, the recent change, I don't know when it was changed, but the Minotaurs got so much tougher. I remember when the uh, Overland Minotaurs was a big farming spot. Witcher! Yeah, we have all sorts of celebrities tonight. <laughs> we got Witcher, we got Pwnstar. Guest stream today. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Petrum's a lot of fun. Th those Minotaurs, though, they uh, they made a change to those, and they, uh, they're they a little tougher, <laughs> we'll put it that way. But if you can get past them, the uh, the Brood Spiders, whatever you call them, the Brood Witches and Brood whatever on level 3, right before you get to the Poison stuff, they're a lot of fun to fight. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's so cool. Oh, yeah? You like moss right now? <laughs> I went there earlier, and I was trying to fight the uh, the vampires, but there were greys everywhere. And, of course, people trying to pull the whole, I'm going to drop a trapped box on your corpse, and... Uh, I <laughs> killed one of the vampires and saw this wooden box pop up on it with an item in it. And, uh, so funny. I didn't open it, if you're wondering. I didn't fall for it. But, uh, they were trying hard. They were trying hard. You know, Star and I went in Moz the other day. And we didn't realize how many, like, secret passages there were. That's <laughs> Yeah, that's true so many secret passages like just being able to get around and uh, some of the cool things you could find there it's pretty cool it's got to be the coolest dungeon from that aspect I hadn't found that anywhere else uh, I mean I spend so much time in Cav I can't even remember what the names of the other dungeons are I got all of them though Oh, Nucero. Yeah, I forgot all about Nucero. Nucero got a lot of changes. Yeah, I think I mentioned that. Uh, let's see what I got. I got Nucero, Palma, Mount Pit, Inferno, Darkmark. Yeah, I guess I got all of them. 
Yeah. I don't know, I think that's cool. They're all uh they're all unique, right? Like the level of detail put into each one. You know, it's not like different dungeons, same monsters. It's like you go to Petrum and you've got the the poison feel and all the golem. You go to Polma, you know, everything's soaking wet. Ossuary the mummies and the different uh Ossuarians. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. You know, before Cav Inferno was our jam for a long time. Spent way too much time in Inferno first year we played. <laughs> I mean, I've even got the backpack die to prove it. <laughs> Getting too old, stay up this late. <laughs> so I was talking earlier about um been trying these two worms out. Now I normally run like a roach and a prowler, a roach or a uh Phoenix, and I am totally impressed with doing two worms and a roach, at least for up to level three content with the self-healing and just good damage. I uh, I borrowed stars earlier, but I didn't get to keep it as long as I like, and she took it back. But she was gracious about taming me another one, so we're trying to level it up now. See what we can do. Yeah, Pwn Star did some awesome. Uh, just saw your note there, Adam. Uh, you can't go wrong with the Bard. Tamer's a pain. It. I'm telling you, it's a million times better than regular UO. But still, it's a it's a grind. It'll take you a couple of weeks at least. But the uh, the Bard, I had actually intended tonight to take my Archer Echo, and I wanted to switch it over to a Bard. <laughs> so that I could uh, get my macing codex up a little easier because I'm lazy <laughs> and I uh, was going to do that tonight but it's such a such a good low investment build that you can use to make a ton of money um, I've got a bard now that just barely hit 100 piece 100 disco um, I don't even think he's at 100 macing yet and he's already soloing demons you know it's awesome but uh, Pwnstar, you know, I gotta call you out, man. You do some awesome videos. Just some of the videos you've done around the uh, the starter templates. <laughs> really enjoyed the uh, Blood Ape video. That was a lot of fun. You got the uh, just the good starter templates. All solid content. If you haven't uh, if you hadn't seen his content, it's uh, he puts a lot of effort into those videos, and you can tell just the. Uh, the production quality and the time he spends making that content, gotta check him out. <laughs> gotta keep him on his toes, Witcher. I know, I, I'm telling you, I have heard from everybody here lately. They're like, oh, Witcher's not buying maps anymore. I'm broke. <laughs> Oh man, so funny. Yeah, the trapper was really cool. That's one thing I, I'd like to try, haven't done yet, is doing the traps. Uh, Trammy had a, a video he did with Bifsky where they went over the different trapper templates Dexter Trapper, Tamer Trapper, uh, I think what, Mage, Mage Trapper. And it uh, <laughs> looked like a pretty fun build. Definitely look like you could make a lot with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no kidding. I I was telling Star, I don't I wish I, I made Witcher map buying money. <laughs> it was uh Yeah, you bought a ton of maps for me too. You kept me in the in the green. Helped me uh take care of all my uh, 
my plans and my my goal. Yeah, check out. Uh, there's a couple of people that do some really good videos. Um, Pwn Star does some amazing videos, a lot on uh, content and just helping you understand different ways to play the game, which is really cool. Um, think about it like. I need to understand how to play a particular template or do a particular thing. Pwn Star's probably got a video on it that is going to be really informative and help you get started with it. Um, then you've got some folks that do some more just general content, like you've got Trammy Surprise. He does some educational videos, build videos. Uh, but again, super high quality. They're hilarious too. He's got a lot of variety. And then, of course, uh, does some. Uh, does some partnerships with some other other streamers here on the server like Blacklisted and some others to create some content. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 90 million. Jeez. 90 million worth of maps. That's crazy. And you did them all solo, right? <laughs> wow, that's impressive. 40 an hour. Wow, that's cool. I couldn't imagine like all the all the loot you're getting. That had to be pretty cool. I mean, you figure 40 maps, we were in a couple. We get a lot of cool stuff. And yeah, me and Star, we see like uh, you know, one rare thing drop and we're like, "We got to get it out." <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, you know, and it could be like, a, I don't know, a shadow core or something, but we get so excited about it. Yeah, no kidding, 40 an hour. How long do you think it takes us to run a map star? Probably 15 minutes. <laughs> you think we could do one map every two minutes solo? Not even if we tried really hard. Ah, uh, you know, Witcher, you got something special going on there. Star's telling me <laughs> there's no way we could do that. Ninety million. Yeah, I don't blame you, man, for uh, taking a break. We were talking earlier about how uh, Owen and team have done a really good job making UO Outland so engaging, but if you're running more... 40 maps an hour. Good grief. You wouldn't just burn out. You'd burst into flames. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> so what do you do now with all your free time, Witcher? You got any cool projects you're working on? Nice. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yep. Uh, that's cool. Now it sounds like you're finally getting able to uh, or able to enjoy the content. That's cool. I'm happy for you, man. Gotta have fun. is that nope. <laughs> yeah I need a moderator I, I'm trying to talk star into being my moderator <laughs> I, I'm I'm popular enough now that I'm getting <laughs> I I kid I've got like two followers and you know uh, like my kids follow me and stuff <laughs> but I'm uh, popular enough I got people posting spam in my messages now I don't know how to delete that uh, let's see oh I'm in uh, I guess is it because I'm in Streamlabs. 
Star, I need you to look up how to become a moderator. Get this fool out of my chat. <laughs> Switcher's clicking on the link. Gonna get naughty ads on his computer popping over every minute. Viagra commercial. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, I banned him just a minute ago. Or I blocked him at least, so I guess that's the same. Can you guys still see that message? Until I can make Star my moderator. <laughs> huh. Okay, I guess it's a uh, Streamlabs limitation. Let's see if we can figure this out. Don't want you guys to have to deal with that. Let's see, Star. I guess I could log into. Oops. Let's see, we'll go to Twitch. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Channel. Uh, let's see what we can do here. All right, where are you at? Pile of bops. Yeah, so it's just a uh, mod ban. There we go. Okay, now it should have disappeared. Perfect. Yep, one message deleted. Perfect. Oh, what is a grizzly mount worth? You know, I found uh, in uh, Cambria. Um, I'll show you. Um, let's see. Let me find where's Star. Uh, star, Star, Star. All right, Star. How to make you mod? I just click on your name and choose mod. <laughs> I'm telling you, she's the best wife in the world. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Yeah, the team maps are a ton of fun. We get the opportunity to do them. When I uh, started playing again, some folks had shared with me that uh, reds were an issue, maps weren't that fun, and decided to sell them, but got bored one night and decided to start running them again. Get the opportunity, I'd recommend it. Um... So let's see. Let's go to shelter. There's a guy selling a polar bear mount, I believe, for 1.4 mil. And I think the grizzly bear sells for just as much. Society point? Yeah. Society point wise? Uh, whoops. But let's go find out. Maybe he's still got it for sale. Cambria went to the wrong place. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see here. Oh, nice. Trapper's got to be good for the team maps, though. You just lay down the traps on the ground, and you've got the little plunger to make them go off, right? The trigger. See, that's awesome. Then I'm guessing, even with the tinker, the trap wire is not that hard to make now, right? Like, even like the platinum wire. Nice. Yeah, that's nothing. All right, let's see what we can find. So it should be right next to the gate. I remember, right? It's like a tower up here. Let's see where he at. I 
Hey, it's Witcher. <laughs> oh man, which one the white? I think it's this. Yeah, there it is. This one right here. It's like the 50 vendors on top of it. All right, let's see what we can find here. It's around here somewhere. One of these guys is selling a polar bear. Is it? Yeah, it's somewhere around here. So much stuff. Yeah, I don't think it's on this one. There's some nice uh, metallic or powder ruby. 400k for six? That doesn't seem too bad. Kind of rubies are nice. What? Mm, let's see. Well, they may have sold it, Witcher, but as far as price goes, they were only wanting 1.4 mil for it. So, maybe that'll. I'd say you could probably find it a little cheaper than that on Discord. I mean, especially if you looked at just the per point cost but I can't even remember how you get them is it through the um, achievement points the polar bears too I know you can get the horses but what about the or the grizzly bear what's that yeah let me go back I'll take a look let's see uh, help achievements where is it? Spin points. Yeah, polar bear mount. So only 400 points. I mean, that's not much. <laughs> I say it's not much. Not that I could afford one right now anyway. But 400 points for the grizzly bear or the polar bear. Uh, let's check Discord. Uh, let's see. In cell grizzly bear. Uh, two mil. Yeah, it looks like there's somebody selling it now. Golden smile for two mil. Uh, a little higher than what I saw it for. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like he's the only one selling one. Let's see. Let's try a polar bear. Yeah, there we go. Polar bear, 1.8 million. That's uh, Dak and Jones. The polar bear looks pretty sweet. Then Albus has one for 1 1.6 mil. Yeah, it looks like you can get a polar bear for a better deal. Yeah, 2 mil seems a little high. I thought the 1.4 mil was a good deal. Uh, 1.6. Eh. Maybe, I don't know. But do like the polar, or the grizzly bear, though. Just, uh, just a cool mount. It's different. So, Witcher, when I was running maps, we usually found that level ones dropped all the animal taming stuff the command stuff we'd run level fours level fives and we just get garbage and then we'd run a level one and it'd drop a command core and an animal taming scroll did you find any uh or have any experience like that when you're running them yeah so the wire used to be on the uh, in the chest that you dug up for treasure maps and they took that away so you can't, can't get it uh, out of treasure chest anymore um, when we used to run T1 uh, or level 1 maps, level 2 maps back in the day we found the lower maps generally had the better loot like we'd run a uh, a level four or five map and I mean just get garbage like nothing good and then we'd run a level one and we'd get an animal taming scroll and a command core and it was so 
<laughs> so uh, consistent that we'd buy as many level one, level two maps as we could. I'm sure it's just a fluke, but I'm curious if you had a similar experience. Yeah. Let's see here. There you go, Witcher found you a polar bear for a million. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Maybe this one will uh, be interesting for you. Let's see. So they're out there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Sounds like we were just getting lucky. Oh, I never thought about that. That's interesting. Always. Huh. Very cool. Yeah, and those level 1, level 2 maps too, you can grind those out so quick. It, uh, and they're easy to do. Let's see. Let me collect in a few. Let's see. Let's see what I got. I will have to do these this weekend. Little two, little two, little two. I can't wait to run these. I think all of these are. I got a little four in there. Little two, two, little two. Yeah, those will be fun. Let's see one, two, three. Since Witcher's not buying them, I guess I'll run these ten maps. <laughs> No, that'd be fun. <laughs> no, I'm just giving you a hard time. Yeah, Star and I, we, uh, one of those things, we get tired of Cavern and we'll go run some maps and then fight over the loot. <laughs> we do have a distro chest. Somehow it's a suggestion sometimes. You're like, oh, you got that. Can I have that? <laughs> yeah, I got to hand it to Star. She, uh, we got that Cavernum headwear die earlier, and she, uh, I won it in the distro and got to keep it. So that was pretty cool. That was cool. Yeah, you had the uh, the T map operation locked down, Witcher. Prices and everything, you just go to guy. Is uh, Outland Store still buying them? Are they paying decent prices? Ah. I'll be back in one minute.
been talking away. Forgot to put it on mute <laughs> when I came back. That's like I'm at work. <laughs> uh, so do you guys see a big difference with the, the fortune set? Like say if you don't wear it and then suddenly put it on, do you see a pretty big difference in the quantity or quality? Yeah? I was wondering. Massive. Now we just put a fortune set on Star's lock picker, but uh, you know I'd never used it before. Look at that, Witcher. Cool. You guys got me excited about trying fortune now. <laughs> oh, look, Witcher just showed up, and I just got a fortune core. Yeah, <laughs> That's funny. You guys saw that, right? Like, his fortune level is so high, he gives everyone else a bonus <laughs> around him. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Maybe it's because he's a witcher. Maybe it's not a... Okay, you watching this star? Did you see that? They just exploded, all of them. Wow, that is impressive. No, he just blew them up with traps. <laughs> That's crazy. How do you not let all this power go to your head? What's that? Okay. I've been wasting my time. <laughs> there you go. That's wild. <laughs> so all you've got to do is summon an elemental, round them up, stop it somewhere, and then blow everything up. That's amazing. I'm digging that. <laughs> and lo and behold, it's meant to be. It's fate. I got a fortune core. Now, you can do so many traps before you hit the cooldown, right? Like, what is it, seven traps? And then you've got a little bit of a cooldown? That's awesome. So, 
Are you actually farming dungeons too, Witcher? I think I can see what to do with all those garbage decked hidden scrolls. I've got six. I've almost got a trapper. No tinkering scrolls, though. Sad day. <laughs> Yeah, very cool indeed. <laughs> what? <laughs> Never trust anybody named Banana. Yeah, that was cool, Witcher. Thanks for coming down and showing me that. That was impressive, to say the least. Wow, I couldn't imagine, like, the speed at which you'd be able to farm and just get in and get out. Like, especially if you consider, like, Nucero getting down on level 3 with all those demons and those dragons and hitting them with a, a few traps. Wow. 10x gold damage links, wow. I'll tell you, you got me sold. And that's gotta make it easy to do maps too. Find out where you're gonna dig it and lay down all the traps. Ah, smart. So is that really the crux of the build? Just 120 tinkering, 120 detect hidden, and that's it? <laughs> yeah, I hear ya. Let me show you mine. Are you ready for this? Nothing. <laughs> Empty. <laughs> Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> Glad I'm not the only one. You know, I've actually got a couple of links at the house, like uh, plus melee damage, and I think I've got some other bronze ones that aren't anything too special, but I can't bring myself to pay the 250 essence to install the link. It's, it's sad. <laughs> like the the amount of money it costs to buy all that essence just doesn't like a one percent melee damage bonus just doesn't seem that worth it to me. Yeah? How so? <laughs> I'm glad to hear that for sure. Oh yeah, that's right, the usage reduction. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I think I was paying uh, 40k per thousand essence. That would be nice to have that lower. Look, like, Witcher's uh, presence still paying off, still getting dropped. Yeah. You think it'll even out? Yeah. Sounds like the start of a beautiful partnership. <laughs> hmm. So you just hit it and it's got the fortune bonus. Ah. 
what's uh what's the bonus at tier 13 for a uh, loot drop chance do you know if the 24.5 percent wow is that uh like flat or is that like if i'm at two percent chance now it's you know 2.25 percent chance or is it i'm at two percent now i'm at 27 percent okay got it yeah, that'd be nice <laughs> imagine every third mob every fourth mob dropping loot Mm-hmm. Now, Witcher, did I see you carving corpses, too? Do you have a uh, forensic? Nice. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> if only. That triple box would be even more impressive, huh? still pretty uh, pretty expensive I don't think quite as bad as command but still up there I like that you uh, carry an armoire oh man you know that's still not too bad if you're talking about getting a tier 13 that's only 3.2 mil that didn't uh, seem quite as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I think the extracts are pretty high too, right? They're 40k. Their core sure went up in a hurry. And I still remember when they're like the cheapest core you could buy. Now they're like 20k. Yeah. Funny how that works. Wow. 
But you're making those investments. <laughs> That's awesome. three links I've unlocked. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh man, it's like 90 mil to fill out a chain. That's wild. amazes me people have that much money on the server too. Right. That's cool. Very impressive. <laughs> Yeah. Oh wow. It did, but you still had all the maps, right? All that was from buying maps? I mean, generally, my experience, if, say, you bought a map, there's a good chance you're going to make more Oh, right, right, right. You've got to sell the items. you got to convert it. I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, Star and I were talking about that earlier. It's getting a lot harder to sell stuff. You know, a year ago, you had a core drop, an extract drop. You could pretty much guarantee you could turn it into cash as soon as you wanted. Now, I've got stuff sit out there forever. Yep. Yeah. Oh man, I'm already full. <laughs> I hate these things. Psilocytes. We've already got 9k. items you think you have over uh, all this time, Witcher? And how much did uh, those aspect tomes help you out? And skill scroll tomes? <laughs> oh, I remember when those things weren't even stackable. The scrolls were, I, I think, but the aspect stuff wasn't. I'm 
most unorganized person. I see some people, they have the nicest, neatest, most organized bags. Mine's just, uh, just throw it in there. <laughs> All right, that's pretty crazy. And that's what uh, 40 maps an hour for uh, six months will do you. <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> you are watching uh, one of his old videos, are you? His juicy steals. Oh, he did one. He stole uh, 30 cloth off somebody. He just shared a trick, though, I thought was pretty insightful on uh, how to get your stuff off the prev vendor. So you buy it at the prev vendor. Then you go to the arena. Use the bank there, since you can't steal. Then hit the portal and go to shelter. And then teleport out. That way you don't have to worry about losing your stuff to thieves. That's brilliant. Oh man, I couldn't imagine that. <laughs> oh man, I, I think I'd quit UO forever if that happened. Man, could you imagine him stealing that? I, I bet he couldn't contain his excitement and then it's empty. <laughs> Well, you know, I better do a detect hit. <laughs> oh, well, gents, ladies and gents. Oh, man. It's been fun. I've enjoyed it. I can't believe it's already been six hours. It's already two o'clock here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank goodness for a holiday weekend. It's going to be pretty fun. It was fun. I will definitely be back on tomorrow. So, uh, uh, if you guys are on, I want to hang out again. Yeah, good stuff. I appreciate it. It's been a long time since I streamed, so I appreciate the feedback. We'll, uh, we'll start getting into it again. It's fun. I appreciate it. Yeah, glad you guys stopped. I'm telling you, I expected maybe one or two people. So I have so many people in here in the chat. It's It's been cool. I'm telling you, you guys made my night. <laughs> uh, you guys are the best. Uh, good stuff. Hey, hope you guys have a good night. I'll, uh, I'll be on sometime tomorrow. So uh, keep your eye out. Come join me again. We'll do some more calf farming. <laughs> That's right. All right. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.